Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Good morning, everybody. I'm about to engage in the time-honored tradition of wandering around in the woods looking for rattlesnakes. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cook myself an egg sandwich and uh, hit the forest. Today we're gonna hopefully check up on the female that we saw last time we went out to this area and maybe even find some more. I'm gonna check out some other likely areas. There's our first herp of the day. I think that's a cooter foraging on the bottom right there. I don't think we're gonna be able to get close enough to grab him. All right, I've been making my way towards where that gravid female timber we saw a couple episodes back was. Haven't seen anything yet, but super overcast, very humid, and very warm already today, which I was hoping it'd be a little bit cooler. So I wasn't able to uh, see where our rattlesnake was hanging out until I noticed her face looking back at me from that hole right there, and you can kind of hear her rattling. So she is here, she's back in there. I was kind of surprised she wasn't out in the open considering how nice it is right now, but uh, she is down in that hole. So I guess we're just going to leave her right there. We might swing back by later and see if she's out, but for now, we're going to keep moving. Oh, look right there. That's another one. I don't know why they're not out in the open right now. It's so nice. I mean, it's very, very humid, but really surprised because it's just so cloudy. It'd be a perfect day for them to bask. But this is pretty much what the one that we saw, you can see where this one sits right here. But very cool. Really not a great look, but don't want to disturb it because I would love to see it out in the open one day. Um, you can tell it's a pretty big snake though. Second timber of the day. And this one is a new snake in a new area. All right, this is gonna be my last outcrop because I'm out of water and I have a long walk back. But uh, that up there looks really promising. So we'll go check that out. And if we don't see anything, probably call it a day. All right, guys, I'm gonna start making my way back to the car at this point. I might hit the creek for a little bit and see if there's any snakes down there. I hit the creek a little bit and turned up this little queen snake. This is a gravid female queen snake, if you can't tell. She's super, super thick. Probably going to give birth any day now. And I also saw a Nerodia and a loggerhead musk turtle that both got away, so pretty cool. Seems like a lot of stuff is out along the creek, so maybe we'll see something else. So remember how I said I lost a loggerhead earlier? Well, uh, turns out it was not a loggerhead. It was a striped neck. Greg has told me that the ones in this creek were striped necks, but I, the one I saw earlier just didn't, I didn't get a great look at it. But after getting this guy in hand, you can see, uh, hopefully he'll come out of his shell a little bit further, but that is definitely a striped neck. This is Sternotherus minor peltifer, a different subspecies of the uh, loggerhead musk turtle. This is going to be one of the only times we've seen this species on the channel. That is super cool. Very, very different looking than the loggerheads we normally see. And uh, obviously they're called striped neck musk turtles because they have stripes on their neck rather than spots like a loggerhead. That is so cool. Look at him. So different looking than the loggerheads we find really, really close to here. What a great looking turtle. Let's see if I can get a little video of him in the water here. So cool. Well, this little guy has made my week, but uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to find an adult and actually catch it this time. So I'm just gonna let this guy go and we're gonna keep moving. Go on. Wedge straight into a crack, as they do. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Why is there a king snake just sitting here in August in the middle of the day? It's so hot right now all of a sudden. But uh, there is the first king snake we've seen in a long time. Uh, looks like a pretty nice one too. I don't know if he's just basking here or what, but 
That is sick. Not something I was expecting to see today at all. What a morning we have had. Two timbers, a queen snake, some nerodia, and a beautiful little eastern king snake. And don't forget the striped neck moss turtle. Well, the pooping has begun, so uh, probably gonna let this guy go momentarily, but very, very cool. Fantastic looking snake, too. All right, we'll let this guy get back to Nerodia hunting. I'm assuming that's what he's doing. There we go. There's an adult striped neck. Very cool. This guy's got a, uh, a snapper chunk out of him. Cool to see a juvenile and an adult. The juvenile was definitely prettier, but I mean, this guy is it's definitely different from the loggerheads we're used to seeing. And he's actually showing us his neck too, which is nice. All right, dude. Good morning, everybody. It has just finished raining and uh, I'm heading out to do some hiking, a little bit of flipping. And we've got a guy in the road already. Look at this. Little Eastern box turtle. These guys have been pretty common lately when it's been raining. So I'm definitely stoked about that. Especially seeing as we didn't have a very good start to the year for them. I'm glad they seem to be fairly common now. But yeah, we'll just uh, move this guy out of the road and continue with our day. He's kind of going up the road. I don't know where he wants to go, but I'm going to put him over here and uh, hope that he stays out of the road. There you go, bud. Well, it looks like another round of storms is forming, and I'm probably not going to get to hike like I wanted to, but look at this. There is a super vibrant little newt eft in the road. It's always cool seeing these guys during the daytime. Look at that guy, he's stunning. It's definitely about to start storming, but uh, very cool. At least we saw two quick things today, a nice little box turtle and this really cool looking little newt eft. This is the terrestrial life stage of uh, the Eastern newt. I'm gonna just quickly pick him up. We're gonna get him out of the road before it starts pouring on me. Honestly, we don't really see a ton of them in this life stage either, so very cool to move this guy out of the road today. But uh, I'm probably gonna go run some errands. I have to go get my international driver's license so that I can actually drive. There's another box turtle. This guy's on a way busier road. Come on, dude. You can't be doing this. Goodness gracious. These, uh, these rainy mornings are super, super dangerous for these guys. Hopefully he will stay out of the road. This is a pretty busy area. I mean, look at this. Good morning, everybody. It is my last day in Georgia for the rest of the month of August. And uh, I'm back out in the swamp today because there has been so much rain. I did want to spend my last day in Georgia actually in the field though. So we are gonna try to get out for a little bit this morning before it gets too hot. As you can see, there's not much in the way of clouds today. And the forecasted high is around 97 degrees. It's gonna warm up fast, but let's get to it while it's still nice and see what we can find. Well, here's our first find of the day. <laughs> that is a striped mud turtle. So cool. These guys are a very good find, actually, um, in the Georgia Piedmont, at least. You can see his face is a little bit different than what we see in eastern mud turtles. He's got a little bit of a yellow stripe. We saw these guys' tracks in this spot last time we were here when there was no water, but now it's full of water. These guys do tend to be pretty shy when you catch them, so I'm not sure if we're gonna get a better look at his face than this, but a beautiful turtle. That shell is very, very clean and iridescent for something that lives in the swamp. Looks great in the morning sun. I'm gonna take a quick photo of this guy, and then we might see if he'll come out and swim around in the puddle, and maybe I can get some video of him a little further out of his shell. 
he's actually come out a little bit underwater. I'm gonna let this guy go here in a second, but he is, uh, this is the most we've seen of him this whole time. Look at that. That is an amazing turtle. Look at all the pattern on his head. Well, that was awesome. He gave us at least a decent look at him out of his shell. He does actually have a turtle leech on him there. You can see it crawling around a little bit. What a beautiful animal. He's slowly digging himself a little hole right here. I'm actually going to hold on to this guy, and Greg's going to come take some data on him. Look at him just burying right here. That's pretty cool. You don't get to see that too often. The actual act of a turtle burying itself in the mud. Look at the way his back feet are just sticking out. <laughs> That's so ridiculous looking. All right, we're gonna continue to walk around this beautiful habitat until Greg gets here, and uh, maybe we'll see another one, or a cottonmouth or two. All right, so I'm standing on the island currently that had a couple of cottonmouths on it last time we were in this area, but this was all completely dry then, and as you can see, there's tons of water now. Because there's more water now, I'm assuming they're gonna be more spread out, so we might not see as many today. Really, I'm just happy to have seen that mud turtle already, but I am gonna walk around here a little bit more Took long enough. Look at that guy. It's a really weird looking cotton. Very light. I think there's a very real chance this guy's gonna disappear into this water before we can get anywhere near him. But I'm gonna try to get a closer look. Well, as predicted, that thing took off into the water, never to be seen again when I started approaching it. But maybe we'll see another one. It's encouraging that at least one was out. It is already heating up though, I can tell. I'm super sweaty just from standing here looking at that snake. Look at this habitat. I wish I would have known this pool was here when it was dry, because uh, it probably would have been almost completely empty. Right now it's very murky. I can't see into it. I'm definitely starting to wonder if this heat is affecting the cotton mouths, because we saw like, this is the same spot we saw nine, or yeah, nine cottonmouths a couple episodes back. And today we've only seen one. So we also don't have any of the cloud cover we had last time, so that's probably part of it. But that'll give you an idea of how hot it is out here. It seems to be too hot for one of the most heat tolerant snakes we have. Walking around these ponds after rain, I definitely understand why there's so many cottonmouths here. Because there's a ton of frogs. Like, Every couple of steps I take, big adult frog will jump, like a leopard frog or a bullfrog. Well, it hasn't been the most eventful outing, but I am very excited we actually got out today and did find that striped to mud turtle. I would say striped neck musks and striped to mud turtles are two of the rarer turtles in North Georgia. There's definitely rarer ones, but they're up there for sure. So yeah, with that being said, I have packing to do. So I'm going to go home, take a shower, and pack because tomorrow morning we leave the United States of America for the first time on the channel. And I couldn't be more excited about it.